Hi, happy Michael. 50th anniversary Thank you so of much. The Young and the Restless. Thank you, and happy 50th to you. I'm glad we're all here celebrating all here together celebrating on our golden day. Our golden day. Yeah. Did you ever think, I mean, I think of, I think I've been with the show for 35, 40 years. You've been with 40, right? Uh, 40, a little 40 plus. 40 I was last plus. summer, yes, Very yes. Much. When you first came on as Tracy, you know, you were the good girl. Mm -hmm. did, were you like, did you ever want to be bad? No, no, no. Oh my gosh. I love being good and I love that people relate to me and have been kind and welcomed me into their families and their homes. I, Tracy Bregman and I have talked about this recently. Tracy Bregman playing Lauren Fenmore, who was the bad girl, has been stalked. She's been chased on freeways. She's been followed into the loo <laughs> to be told off. Uh, so being good. Good has its advantages. Yes. And what did you think of the be days when you got to sing on the show? I loved it. It was. A, was it? A, was it a great time with you? It, and it was. Ma oh, I'm sorry. Okay. It, okay. it was. It was a magical time. We just, in fact, on our way here to this beautiful place in downtown LA, Viviana, we just passed Capitol Records, and I told my daughter, who is a musician, she's a classical musician, a bassoonist. As we passed it, I said, "This place it was just magical. It's a stack of record albums with a sundial on top. When you fly over, you know what time." it is and we used to pre-record all of our music there and we get out we didn't know any better we didn't know this wasn't what always happened it was magical Michael and you won an Emmy I did <laughs> well you remember was that ingenue Wait, no I was best supporting actress. actress yeah when you got that did you feel that was validation for you know I didn't know any better it was like going to Capitol Records to pre-record I it, Tracy Bregman and I won the same year and we were the first two actors she was the ingenue. ingenue and we were the first two I, I knew my history here. <laughs> <laughs> and and it was only as a result of when the award was given during the show that I won first. It, it was the same year, the same broadcast. And um, we, so we were the first actors to ever win an acting Emmy of any kind. And it was a, it was a time of transition for the show when they were moving past, into a more serious acting-centric approach of developing families and relationships that were, that they wanted to make as statements. Um, Mr. Bill Bell was very uh, uh, sort of groundbreaking in terms of every summer having a storyline that was an outreach to teach and raise awareness for very difficult subject matter and it couldn't have been a more magical time. I keep using that word but it's the truth. And Peter Bergman, did you ever think when, when he was going to be your brother were you intimidated? Not at all. You I, were there first. I, anyway. I, well, yes, but and and I honestly I don't watch soap operas except to check on my work. <laughs> so uh, besides a brief time during school when I watched Dark Shadows, I didn't really know uh, beyond uh, meeting people at the Emmys. I really didn't know what was what. So uh, I knew he was I knew he was from All My Children, and I knew he was fabulous and Dr. Cliff. But um, I I was more focused on bringing him into the Abbott family and making sure he was. The perfect fit, which he absolutely was. Well, congratulations on an amazing run and 50 years of this show. Thank you. We're and still so, going. We're so grateful and we're so excited.